Hi everyone, it's Mike Mixon from KeyboardAmerica.com here in Lewis Beach, Delaware. And right now we're going to be getting into organs and organ world. There's two buttons on the Tyros 5, the organ button and the organ world button. If you have the Tyros 4, you have the organ button. Uh, we're going to be getting into that organ button a little bit later in this video, but this is going to be an in-depth uh, video on how to get the most out of organ world and your organs in your Tyros 5 and I think you're going to find it very interesting. Now of course at any time through the video if you want to go to our Tyros 5 video webpage you can click on the eye. If the eye's not out there just move your cursor over top of the video. The eye will pop up. Click on it and you'll go right to our website. Another easy way to get there is KeyboardAmerica.co, which is our local website, and just go to the Tyros 5 video page. Also, if you want my free card chart, you can either click the link on my videos page for TyrosMike at Hotmail.com or just simply email me at TyrosMike at Hotmail.com. So let's get started on the first organ in Organ World. Okay, so everything we're going to talk about here today, I'm going to give you a close-up of the screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. The first organ, if you reach and hit your Organ World button, is going to be the Vintage Organ. Now you use your tab buttons up top to tab from organ to organ uh, in Organ World. There's five organs in Organ World. Now, to explain it in depth, these are five great organs. Every manufacturer made at least one organ that was just phenomenal. And in the Tyros 5, they've captured those five organs. The first one is Vintage, which is the Hammond B3. Now, the B3 was built in the late 50s. Um, it's an organ that's still highly sought today by African American churches and also musicians because it had a very unique sound, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second before we get to these close-ups. So, for instance, Paul Schaefer on David Letterman had a B3 in front of him. If you watch the Country Music Awards, they had a B3 in front of them, and they still do today. You can see the B3 in the movie The Blues Brothers. It's been everywhere. What made it unique is, is while it's electronic, the sound didn't come from electronics like they do on every other organ. So every other organ has diodes and you know boards and things like that. The B3 had a motor and it was called a tone generator. So the sound was created by this tone generator that was just like a small motor and it gave it a very unique sound that was hard to copy until later in years when you could sample really well. The second feature of the B3 is it didn't have any speakers. So it had a big speaker cabinet that was about three feet wide and about four feet tall and both speakers spun inside this cabinet that was hooked up to the B3. So the bass speaker spun and the horn spun, which was the high end, gave it a very, very unique sound. Now they sold for about 1800 back in the late 50s, and with the Leslie speaker, uh, ran around 25 to 2800. A good clean B3 today can go for as high as $18,000. So here's a piece of electronics that's still used today. It's a workhorse and you get way more than you paid for it uh, if you bought a B3 new. So it's a very interesting history piece and uh, the organ sound is very unique. So let's get a close-up of the B3 in just a second. Now you're going to see on the uh, close-up of the screen that there's going to be draw bars and don't worry you'll know what they are in a few seconds and there's also going to be presets on there. Now, to explain organs to you, whether you're playing the Lowry organ or you're playing the Kahn organ that's built in the Tyros, let's picture this as a pipe, a water pipe. 
And when the more water that goes through the pipe, the fuller the sound is. And this is going to be demonstrated live for you on the close-up of the screen. So don't think I'm a crazy guy right now. And if you don't understand it, you will understand it thoroughly. So if only a little water is trickling through that pipe, the sound sounds hollow. And it's going to be the same thing when you see how these organs work in the Tyros 5. So let's get a close-up of the screen right now. Okay, so we're going to hit Organ World. And the first one that comes up is called Vintage. And you're going to use your tab button. The next one is called Home Organ. The next one is Euro. The next one is Concert, which is a pipe organ. Next one is a theater organ. Now we're going to talk about these individually, so let's go back to Vintage. Vintage is the B3. Now, obviously, they can't call it a B3 because that name is copyrighted. Also, right here, it says Rotary Tremolo, and that's actually the Leslie speaker, and they can't use the word Leslie on there because that's copyrighted, so they call that Tremolo. Rotary Tremolo, spinning. Effect. So, Vintage Organ, as you see the drawbars here, and these are, were pretty difficult to use, you can see I can move these draw bars and now while holding a chord down I'm going to press tremolo and listen to what happens so there's that Leslie spinning slow and fast okay now, since draw bars are hard to use, just us old timers use them, if you press the I button over here, you can actually go to presets. And you see the presets come up, and now you're going to use your up buttons to change presets. And these are presets from those draw bars. So they're the most common, so this makes it easy for you to use the draw bar organ or the B3. And you hear that big hollow sound, and I'm going to show you how to get to that. I'll move back to footages again so you can see it. So if you take the water pipe and you leave it just a little bit of water in it. And as you fill the pipe up with water, there's your big full organ. Now you notice I've left some in, and the ones that are in, uh, we refer to them as dirty sounds. So the first one is a 16 foot, then you have a five and a third, eight, four, two and two thirds, two, one and three fifths, one and a third, and one. Now the ones that have one and three fifths, one and a third, they dirty the organ up. That's what we call it, is making it dirty. Or you can use the word raspy. So if I was to push these in right here, pull those three out, you can hear how that's cleaner. dirty sound. So if you have the first brown one out, which is a 16 foot, and only the rest of the white ones out, you're going to have a nice clean organ sound. And the more water you put in it, the fuller it gets. Once again, you can push your button here and get to your presets, and all the common presets from the B3 are right there in the Tyros 5. Now, any one of these sounds that you like, you can store into your 8 registration memories, and keep in mind you can layer as well, 
And I'm going to show you something really cool with the layering um, using the footages. And you can do it with the presets too. But I'm going to push everything in except for that 8 foot that's there. And I'm going to put a second sound on and that's going to be maybe a vibe. bring out 16 foot and 8. And you hear that got dirty because it was black. Just really beautiful. But don't worry about that. Hit your presets. I've got my uh, vibe still on, layered with it. And... Boom, just like that. And of course, with the balance button, you can adjust how much uh, volume you want on your organ and how much uh, volume you want on your vibraphone. So there's the B3, the vintage organ, and now we're going to move over to the home organ. So I'm going to use my tab button. Now the home organ here is a Lowry organ. And you notice on this it doesn't have the tremolo because a Lowry organ didn't have a Leslie speaker. It had a simulated Leslie. So we're going to have the same situation. We've got 16, 8. Now these are tabs just like on an organ, so you push the down button to push the tabs down. It's going to be up button to put them up, and I'm going to put them all up except for the 16 and the 1, and once again, there's that hollow, fill up the pipe. So you get the idea, and flutes can be called flutes or tibias, that's the same thing really. And once again, you're going to see the five and a third, the two and a third, and one and three fifths. So it works very similar to the B3. And of course, your tremolo is. And that's a simulated Leslie speaker. So it really sounds great, doesn't it? So that's what that does. Now, with your pedals on the Tyros 5, um, you know, I use three pedals on mine. You can actually, if you're doing a lot of organ work, you can set one of your pedals to put the tremolo or the uh, rotary speaker on one of those pedals instead of reaching up and touching this. And that makes it nice. So once again, fill up the water pipe here when you get to the thirds and the two thirds and the three fifths they're going to be dirtier sounds. Uh, once again, you can push your I button to get to the Lowry presets. You see them here. Full organ. A little more hollow, right? That's a little dirtier. A lot dirtier. Real dirty, full draw bars all the way out. Just like that, so you can use the presets there. Now, the next one we're going to go to is the Euro organ. Once again, you're going to see these draw bars come out. Uh, this is a worse organ sound. And once again, you know, we looked at the B3 on the first one, the Lowry on the second one, and the Euro, which is actually a worse organ. Once again, can't use the word worse uh, on here because of copyrights. This is going to work exactly like the B3, but with a little bit different cool sound. 
Uh, Lenny D used a uh, Worsey organ. So we're going to go right to the presets here. And this is the Worsey presets. And all these presets that are in the Tyros 5, the Yamaha artists have gone in and put the most famous, most used, most common presets in here to make it easy for you. <laughs> Let's hear that a little bit more dirty. So you can hear that four is like a full organ. Dirty full organ. Hollow. Another full organ dirty. Just like that. So you're going to use that just like the B3, little different sound. Tab over to the concert organ. Now, unless you're playing church music or things like that, or maybe some Christmas stuff, you won't use the concert organ that much because it's a pipe organ. <laughs> same concept of it getting clean and dirty. Bigger pipe organ. Massive pipe organ. Unbelievable, isn't it? There's an $80,000 pipe organ right there. If you add up all the organs in here, it's a lot of money uh, just on that organ world. The next one is a theater organ, which if you know organs, this looks just like a con organ. And I love the con theater organ. I use it quite a bit. <laughs> Once again, you hear that hollow sound. A little raspy. Beautiful sound, isn't it? Gorgeous organs right here. Notice there's no drawbars on the con or theater organ, no drawbars on the concert organ. Yes, we do have drawbars and footages on the Worsey. Lowry doesn't have drawbars, and of course, back to the B3. So there are your five great organs that are in the Tyros 5. Now, for those of you who have a 5 and a 4, or, or a 4, you can go up to your organ button here, and the first one is called white bars, or whiter bars, and these are going to be, when it says bars, that's the draw bars, so you know they're going to be Hammond sounds in there, um, 60s combo organ sounds. <laughs> And there's pages of these in there. One of my favorites is Hold It Fast. And that's, of course, a B3 with the Leslie. And instead of having to turn the Leslie off and on, if you hold the note down, the Leslie comes on automatically. If you're playing a little quicker, it, the Leslie's on slow. <laughs> These 
jazz organs, full rockers, they're all B3s in there. Now we got some home organs, so that's going to be some of your theater and Lowry organs mixed in. And your chapel organs to get in uh, to your pipe organs. And vintage me also means B3. You can actually see the picture of the B3 right here in the screen. And the, you can actually see the picture of the Wersey right here on Euro Accompaniment 1. And uh, take a look at those pictures that are on there because it tells you which organ is which. Just beautiful. Now we're getting into the theater. Uh, which is theater organs and these presets are different from the ones that are in organ world which is why they put both buttons on the tyros 5 not only your organ button but your organ world button as well and nice mixtures too here's a theater organ with a glockenspiel Some really beautiful organs in here. Makes it really nice. And you can layer too. So if you want to layer, that's fine as well. Uh, theater organ. So you will find some other uh, sounds that are not in your percussion section right here in your organs, because this is what a chime sounded like on a theater organ. And that's a different chime than that's what's going to be in your percussion button. So you can see the Tyros 5 has a lot of things on it. Um, organ trumpets. Here's a nice seaside organ. Really great sound. So, when you look at the organs, the reason they really upgraded the organs into the Tyros 5 was because the people that work at Yamaha, and people like myself, um, we started out on organs. So, we didn't have electronic keyboards when we started in the early 60s. There was just organs and pianos. And of course, the organs didn't have much on them, and we grew up with all the new innovations that came out throughout the past 60 or so years and uh, it's been a lot of fun but everybody's had a great organ here or there each manufacturer so that's why they put all these great organs into the Tyros 5 and of course I have a set of bass pedals on my Tyros 5 so I can actually play it like an organ uh, because of the way the Tyros 5 is set up with when layering over here in the part select there's a left, a right one, right two, and right three and of course that's in another video but let's put these organs through their test so you can see exactly how I would use them in the Tyros 5 and just play a song or two for you <laughs> Okay, so if you go into ballroom and uh, scroll through the styles, there's actually some organ styles in here. Here's an organ cha-cha. Here's an organ swing. Hello? 
Bull. through and we want to do a little theater ballad here and I'll hit my organ world button and put my theater organ on or I might even just use my euro organ uh, with that or my home organ there and little sync start <laughs> So that's putting the Tyros 5 organs and organ world through its paces and I hope it gave you an understanding on how to use it and of course if you purchase your Tyros 5 from us you have unlimited phone support so if you have any questions you know what time to call me in the evening uh, when I'm more free than uh, during the day most of the time but um, this is Mike Mixon from Keyboard America here in Lewis Beach Delaware saying have a great day Keep playing, and don't forget, click on that eye to go right to our website. Have a great day. See you soon.